but he was so peculiar that when I asked to use the bathroom, this is no lie, he asked me to sit down when I peed, and he was dead serious. <laughs> Sell it all. A unique one item thing that don't make no difference. We just uh, we do a little bit of everything. Guns, coin, gold, yep, guns, jewelry. Coins, gold, jewelry, all that stuff. And uh, I'd like to think we're pretty good at it. Yeah. We uh we've developed quite a following. Yes we have. Uh, with our state business and everything and all and uh, you know there's uh always gonna be ups and downs sales, some better than others. But since we've uh we started the very first one we ever done just took on as a proud thing. And, uh, and it was junk. And, and was, I mean, I mean, it was junk. A lot of little dollars, or five dollars, or ten dollars, fifteen dollar items. We world. had an entire room and, with nothing but dollar items. And I don't know how many times that we've uh, decided that uh, well, thought about why are we doing this? It's just really worth our while. Oh, are we it. sure we want to do this? Yeah, because of the quality of what we were doing. But um, <laughs> but we said good or bad, we're gonna stick yeah, it out. Good or bad, we were how we like it, what we're going to do with it. And, uh, it wound up being phenomenal. Two wow. to three times better than what we ever thought it yeah, was Yeah, I'm not going to say phenomenal. Yeah, it was just two to three times better than whatever we thought it was going to be. Yes, we made a little money, nothing like what we should have made for the time and effort that we put in. But it was that learning curve of what it was all about. And I wouldn't have changed it for nothing in the world. Nope. Had a blast doing it. Uh, I love doing them with Ronnie. Uh, he's a great guy. We get along like brothers. I mean, we really do. Think a lot of life. That's scary. Yeah, it is. And it's, it's really hard good. to find when you get somebody that's always on the same page with you no matter what. I don't, maybe nine out of ten times we know exactly what we're doing and what we're thinking and how to do it. And that's uh, rare, yep. I think. Yep. But ever since we started these, we've been on an uphill climb. We've always gotten better and better and better. I'd say this is year two. I mean, the first, the first time, the first one we done, we probably had... 15 people standing there waiting to get in at the beginning of the sale. That's right. And we were excited. <laughs> and, and, and we, were, we thought we were really doing something. And yeah, it's nothing to walk out there to open doors and to be a line a city block long while with people waiting to get in the building. 40, so, 50, 60 people sometimes. Yep. And uh, we do them on first come, first serve basis when we do our state sales. So it's, uh, it's really fun. We're, uh, really we're going to give some pointers and tips that has worked really well for us. We're going to make other videos to show other people how to run the state sales. And I'm not worried about competition. We're in our area. You're in your area. But I see a lot of mistakes get made that we don't do, and we didn't have to learn. And we're probably gonna we're gonna make a lot of videos. So I hope y'all have fun coming with us. Um, this first one, we're gonna show you some killer freaking things we found. And it yeah. was supposed to be a a second Christmas pickup. And what he had, he didn't even tell me. And let me explain something about this guy. He was, uh, when I first met him, his, he said his house was disgusting. It looked like nobody had ever even lived in it. I'm talking about immaculate. I, uh, I mean, it was an eat off, I'll eat off your floor type look, house. Really? Really. The rugs looked like they'd never been walked on. But he was so peculiar that when I asked to use the bathroom, this is no lie, he asked me to sit down when I peed, and he was dead serious. So that's the first time in my yeah. life I've ever sat down to pee. Yeah. But I did it out of respect for him. And, I, and before you walk <laughs> in his house, one of the first things he asked me to do, I tell you, you take the shoes off. That's right. If you don't have nobody walking in this house anywhere where you go, you have to walk with your socks. And, uh, 
And I respect the for this house is, like I say, it's phenomenal. Beautiful. It's clean and everything. It's clean. It's something else. But we went there and did a little pickup from him. And got some stuff from him. He gave us a little bit of vintage Christmas stuff. And then he turned around and asked us about some Christmas stuff. So he gave us a little bit of vintage Christmas stuff. Which I'll walk over there and I'll show you what we already picked. The Christmas stuff that we already picked up. But... Then Ronnie went back by there the other day. He said he had found a little bit more stuff. So now he has given us some more boxes of totes. It's got more vintage Christmas in it. Boxes for the original Christmas balls that, that I had. The shiny lights and everything with the yep. crush set on small burst in the middle of them and all that stuff. So we have original boxes for a lot of it. And then just come to find out there's vintage toys involved oh in this gosh. stuff too. So as we go do this today, we'll basically see it for our first time. Uh, you can see it along with us. And, uh, I, I got to peek. I got to see that it was there, but I didn't get to really put my hands on it like I wanted to. That's right. And uh, so we're going to get right here and get set up. We're going to get and, right uh, and get started. And, and show you what we see. Okay, I'm pulling boxes out. Mercury Christmas bulbs here is what I'm, what I'm finding. I got some silver ones in the original box. This is mostly red ones in the original box, shiny brights. Ashton uh, Gallery. The Woo! There. I'll tell you that, look at that. There's Starburst in there, the oblong, odd shape. That's looking like a barrel, like a little country wine keg. That's just a yellow one, solid color. But there's another Starburst in here. We have found some really, really nice pieces that are hard to find. I mean, they're that, so that, thin, so it's... We've got the mass center on both sides. Finding them intact and not beat up and not crushed i mean it takes nothing to break these nothing you drop one it's gone that's okay. just that uh-oh here we go tree topper then on an antique tree look there's a secondary box right there it's got all hand-blown mercury ornaments and stuff in it look at that one buddy. look at look that, that, that tree topper god that. almighty yes you know i really get a good view of that it just don't make stuff like that no more. Look at that. Look at the colors in it. Huh. Huh. Amazing. It is. I tell you what, I need to go ahead and give you a picture of that one. You know what I mean? So, we advertise on EstateSales.net, so y'all are going to see us just working, man. Got it. Oh, but wait, there's more. Radco tree. Oh, oh my no. God. It just keeps getting wow. wild, folks. Look at that Christmas tree on the day. I that mean, was, that was a top of If I have ever seen one, look I at the say, color on it. Hold that right there, Ron. I would say. It'll actually stand up on its own. That's a 17 and a half inch topper, folks. That is a pretty thing. Take a picture of that. Go yes, I do. The channel. Don't mind if I do. Woo! We'll take all of that and get our hands on it. So see, we look these up and on, on eBay selling price. These could be anywhere from a twenty dollar bill to a fifty dollar bill per each one of these. And, but then when you get one that's really unique like these here. Some people just go, well, that was grandma's, and I got to have it, and the price is unlimited. And let me explain something about eBay. It aggravates me to no end when I walk into some of these estate sales, and I oh, see these freaking crazy prices on stuff. And I'm like, well, where do you, where, how do you price this stuff? And they go, oh, eBay. Yeah, but you're looking at what somebody listed, not what it's actually selling for. You have to find sold prices. I think that's another reason we do so good at our sales is because we're reasonable. We're we're not shooting for the moon, and if we miss, oh well. No, we want to sell the stuff. We're not going to give it away, but the goal is to make money. This is a third Christmas topper. We're the, oh, that was the one that was already over yep. there. Actually, yeah, let me get that one.
already got a picture of the other one. Woo, look at all these. Each of them. God, look at those. Look at those. Man, let me get a picture real quick, like. Man. Man, look at that pretty right. one with that. Mm. All right, I'm showing you the box tour. But I'm going to show you in here. This is, these are going to be individual ornaments. These are not going to be ornaments that will be sold in the box. But I'm going to show you something. Right here are the Mercury hand blown birds. But I'm not going to right here. If the bird that's on the screen is going to go through your tree limb, and he just sits there and dangles around. And all. Vinny Santa Claus. That's a Vinny Santa Claus. And I'm starting to find a bunch of these. I can get up close and personal. I think I think that's like a look at that mushroom. One. Look at that one. It's even got the that's the milk can, ain't it? Look at that. And look at look at Santa Claus. I mean, look it's at the flawed. detail in it. It's flawed. The fact that this has survived from what the 50s, 60s? Yeah. Oh yeah. And that some of these thin, might, some of these, piece some of these, glass. Some of these go back to the 30s. Gosh. Yep. This my very first time. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Christmas don't usually get me excited at all, but this Christmas. I right, said so we're gonna wrap bow on bow and just put them in here for you a little bit. We got to just look in the box so we can take pictures of them and all. Look at these pretty ones right here. I bet you we get phone calls. There's, there's gonna be people. Uh, that, there's gonna be people that's gonna absolutely go far. Are we gonna keep that one? Nope. I'm sorry, folks. I'm going to tell y'all now one of my main mottos about any type of thing made of glass. If it's broke, you got to get down chip, further. On crack, Look here. It's just broke glass. That's all that is. Tell them again. Yeah, one of my main mottos about broken glass. Anything that's broke, chipped, or cracked, it's just broke glass. It's nothing but stuff for Christmas from a trash can. We don't keep it, we don't save it. There's no need to mess with it because it literally has no value whatsoever. Goodbye. So. And any, and another so thing, even though this piece is cool when somebody probably still would put it on their tree, it's, 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 it's broke glass. The, the, the part that makes that ball so unique is the push crush center, and that's broke and gone. Goodbye. Look at that one. Look how deep that one is. It basically goes to the back of the bowl. And listen, if y'all don't care about Christmas, just stay tuned. Because there's going to be other stuff more than just Christmas in here. This just happens to be this sale. Well, this sale is going to have some vintage toys in here just a little bit once we get through these boxes of Christmas. That was the shocker. I already told y'all how anal he was about dirt and... So imagine what his toys look like. They were his. They were his toys from the 50s and 60s. I believe he said 1965 is what I want to say. All right, that's the broke one. Okay. Got one more big box in there. When I come around. Look, we ought to just leave this tissue paper in here for people okay. want to buy them. Yes, sir. It would go again. Yes, sir. Uh, almost looks like a Redskin bowl. Look at that one. Yeah, we're going to box top here. Just doing... Say something about a rich kid, I think it almost... Just, you know, from the yellow stripe There's and the red behind it, it almost looks like... Oh, I'm sorry. Let me be politically correct. Washington. The commanders. Whatever. Who cares? The Washington commanders. And look, folks. Don't be upset with me when I tell you this. That's coming from a die-for cowboy fan. Look at that one. Look at the little jack and box on there. Can y'all see that? I mean, just... Just awesome old ornaments. I'm doing something that's, that's against one of my rules. I always say when I'm handling these Christmas balls... Yeah, to pull the doodads. I always take all the hangers off of them, but it, but it helps speed the, the video along so y'all can see more. I'm not taking them hangers off. Usually I'm taking them hangers off. So when you put Christmas balls in a box, a lot of times we just pick them up that hanger, catch it off the edge of another hanger, line up the box and then break it off. So I usually try to take all of them off when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh 
All right, look, brand new box of, well, I ain't gonna say brand new, but shiny bright 12 Christmas ornaments. Go in the original box. With the original plastic, I mean, awesome. He's I got a lady the other day when I was first looking through these that I look back and I was looking at right, my look. childhood. There's the. That's one of the, the boxes for them. Yep. Shiny bright. Oh Lord! Look, it even tells you what he paid for these things. Hundred and twenty-three dollars and ten cents is what he paid for these suckers. And I don't blame him. Look at that one. That's a triple That's spread. A three side. Yeah. Gosh. Look at the price tag. Shiny bright boxes. Aren't RTA ornaments thirty five dollars. Fan SP sugar and cream thirty one dollars. Oh sorry. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, you got that box. I got the box that they go into. Sure do. We'll start piecing that box together. You see what I mean about picking up one and grabbing the other? That's why I like to take them books off of them. Here's another one. No, that's the top of that one. All right, what do you want to do with these? Leave them in there? Yeah, just leave them in there, but it's got a, a bunch Look of these. It's got a bunch of them little tiny small ones. Look at that little teeny one. Little teeny heart. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I got to get pictures. Oh, you're just, you're slipping, you're slipping the slide. Sure am. I'm going to give you that a little bit, bud. Also, I need to get a picture of some of these shiny bright boxes. Original box. Oh, we got more. I do be singing. Sometimes you hear him singing, and sometimes I wonder where my air pool's <laughs> off when I hear it, but it ain't. Hey. Finish through it. Oh. Oh, that ain't old. What a bummer. It's, it's, a, nice, a, it's a nice one, but what a bummer. It's got a little age to it, though. It ain't nothing. These all hands on the street. Let's remove the price tag. Ho! 
Lord have mercy. Look at the heel. It's a, it's a car. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Look, 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 look at him. That is phenomenal. That car. Didn't he have the long, the long gated one like that? Man. That guy. That's another one oh, of those See, that's the other one I was talking about. Look how delicate those little handles are. I mean, the fact that we they didn't pink, get We broke. have a pink one that's very, very similar to this one. Man. I got one. I got it. One down. Is there more over there? Oh, yeah. All right, so let me just. We're switching gears. Yes, we are. He, he he was really like he couldn't understand that Wayne, we'll, we'll, we're going to run anything. But then I see the vintage toys on the side of the box, and I'm thinking, all right, is it Christmas? Is it what? No, these were his toys as a kid, which just blew me away. How prestigious they are! And when I saw them, I'm like, you got to be kidding me, Wayne. 